Hey Blender Maniacs, this is Alex Cordobard for BlenderMania3.com and in this video we're going to see how to animate butterflies along a path like you see here. Now you could animate butterflies, bees, bats, dragons, heck flying cars if you want. But this is a really cool effect as you can see they follow along a path and you could use this for many many different things. And then we got this thing over here which is Butterfly 1.0. Anyways, we're going to be seeing how to create this effect which is going to be a lot of fun. First thing we need to do is in a new blender scene, we need to delete the default cube and then head on over to textures.com and search for butterfly. I'm going to be using this butterfly image right here, but you can use whatever you want. Back in blender, in top view, shift A, add an image, reference, and go ahead and load in that butterfly image. Now I'm going to select it, R, rotate it 180 degrees, and then shift A, add a cylinder, rotate that, and then scale it down, S, Y to scale it up and basically fit it onto the main body of the butterfly. In edit mode, select a face, E to extrude, S to scale so that it's a little bit more like a butterfly. Then scale it down and fit it better. In edit mode, I'm going to add a plane, scale that down and basically just selecting the vertices and G to grab them, E to extrude, I'm going to, I'm going to position the vertices and extrude out some more vertices and basically just follow along the wings. Now I'm going to select one vertex, Control L, Shift D, grab it over, and then S, X, negative one to flip it to the other side. So boom, we have duplicate wings. And then just adjust it so that it fits around the image a little bit better and doesn't go into the white area. And then just adjust it however you need to adjust it so that it goes along the image and add in some loop cuts with control R if need be. Go ahead and delete the reference image, select your object, and go to the material tab, add a new material, and change it from base color to image texture. Go ahead and load in that butterfly texture. All right, now split the viewport and change it to the UV image editor. In edit mode, U, project from view, and in the UV editor, we're gonna hit the A key to select everything, R180, and then make sure your material mode, obviously, so you can see it and scale it up so it fits your image. Sweet, look at that. We got a really blocky butterfly. Next, we're going to hit Shift A, add in an armature, make sure that your origin point is in the middle of the butterfly, and rotate it on the X axis 90 degrees so that it's along the body. Then in edit mode, Shift D, copy the bone, and then R90, and rotate it and place it right there. Then hit Shift D. SX negative one to flip it to the other side as well. In object mode, we're gonna go ahead and select the butterfly, shift select the bone, control P with empty groups. Then selecting the butterfly, go into the group tab, we're gonna go into edit mode, select one vertex, control L, and then assign it to bone 002, assign the other the other vertices to bone 001 and the main vertices to bone one. So now you should have the vertices assigned to those selected bones so that when you rotate the wings, it rotates those vertices. Then going into the graph editor, on frame one, we're gonna rotate the wings in pose mode by hitting control P, or control tab, sorry. We're gonna insert a rotation keyframe right there on frame one, then on frame 10, rotate the wings down and insert a rotation keyframe right there. And then go to frame 20 and copy the first frame from frame one onto frame 20. So now you should have something like that. Now we're gonna go and select a bone and make sure to go to one of the axes that has the uh, line like that. Hit the N key and go to the modifiers tab and we're gonna add a cycles modifier. So now it will cycle that animation continuously. We're gonna click the copy link and then on the other bone, go ahead and find the correct bone and paste it onto that correct axis. And you can see that now it cycles the animation. How awesome is that? Now in the in the timeline, I'm just gonna scale down the keyframe so that it goes a little bit faster. And then what we wanna do is go ahead and merge the windows and go back into object mode. I'm gonna move the butterfly out of the way, add a cube and add in a curve. And in edit mode tab, I'm just gonna extrude the curve with the E key and make a curve like that. Now go to the particle system, I'm gonna go to the render tab and render it as an object and cylinder. And you can see that now we got a bunch of butterflies flying out of the cube. On the curve, we're going to go to the physics tab, add a force field physics. And you can see that if we play it, it doesn't do much. So let's go to the particle system. And under, uh, under the, the field weights, we're going to turn off gravity. 
And that way, now we no longer have gravity, and boom, look at that, we got butterflies everywhere. Under the force field, let's change it to curve, and you can see it still does nothing. But under the force field, we're going to change the strength to negative 5. And now with the strength of negative 5, you can see it follows along. Also, change the lifetime of your particles to 200 so that they don't die on you. We don't want butterflies to be dying. That would be sad. And now you can see the particles follow along the curve. How cool is that? I'm just going to extend this out a little bit. And now you can see that the butterflies are a little bit all over the place. So to change that, uh, what we could do is select the curve and with the curve, there's an option on it that's called flow. And so if we go over here to the flow and change that to 0.5, you can see if we increase this amount, they're closer to the curve and more congested. For example, if we change this to a higher amount, you can see that now it's ridiculous and they're in traffic or something. So let's change this back to 0.5. And now we're going to select the butterfly and we want different colors. So split the viewport, go to the shader editor. And right here, we're going to search for uh, pressing the spacebar key. We're going to search for the object info node. Go ahead and add that. And then we're going to hit shift A, go to color. And we're going to add in a hue saturation node. And this hue saturation, we could change the colors of our butterfly. However, we want it to be random. So taking the random factor of the object info we're going to put that into the factor there and boom it gives us random colors how sweet is that now you you could also put this object info node into the hue it gives you much brighter colors which isn't as real looking so i'm just going to leave it into the factor and by changing the hue you could change the color of your butterflies and now you can see the butterflies are facing the wrong way they're flying upside down which is not good so go to the particle settings. Let's go ahead and go to rotation. Enable rotation and we're going to change it to object Z. And with object Z uh, restarting it at frame one, you will see that now our butterflies are flying the right way. Sweet. Now we want to add a little bit of variation to this. So before that, I'm going to turn the roughness up and the specular down on the butterfly so that's not so shiny. Now, like I said, we want variation to this. So selecting the bone and shift selecting the butterfly, we're going to hit shift D, copy it over. And on this new butterfly, we're going to make the animation of the wings a little bit faster. So selecting the first bone, we're going to go to frame one and then select all the bones with the A key and S to scale it down. And this will scale down the time of your wing so you can see it goes a lot faster. Now we need to do the same thing with the other wing. Make sure your keyframe is on frame 1 for it to scale along that keyframe. And then just scale it down so that it matches the other wing. As you can see right now, we got one wing faster than the other. So make sure that they're the same speed. Otherwise, you're going to have some crazy butterflies. And now we're going to put these in a collection. Control G. And then under the particle settings, we're going to change it to collection. And make the collection the butterfly collection that we just created. And boom! Look at that. We got a swarm of butterflies. Sweet. Now here we could increase the scale under the particle settings and the random scale as well to have different sized butterflies. And look at that. It's the invasion of butterfly madness. Sweet. So with that, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I have almost daily uploads. Check out BlenderMania3.com to join the community. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now.